Com. All right, it's The Rock, 106.9 WCCC. A very special guest with us tonight. Gus from Young Guns is with us. Gus, what's going on, man? Not a lot, man. How are you doing? Doing very well. We're really excited to have you in town. Thank you, man. We're stoked. We can't wait to play. It's going to be great. And uh, you're just doing like a really a, a brief tour here here in the States. Is that correct? That's right. It's a bit of a whirlwind. We got into uh, Baltimore um, the night before last, yep. and then we played our first ever American headline show in Baltimore last night, which was awesome. Right. Um, and then for the next three weeks, we're kind of around doing uh, radio shows, promo, stuff like that. So it's, it's not like a, a tour per se. We're just kind of splitting around uh, the state, kind of doing doing things yep. like we're playing with you guys. So we're super stoked to be back in the country. I gotta say, you know, next time whoever's booking you, you gotta like when it's winter time up here, they gotta put you down south where it's a little bit warmer. And then- oh man, you know what? That, like you're totally right. But we we were we were anticipating the cold, so we like wrapped up. We brought loads of big coats and boots, and we're here. Uh, we're in Manhattan now, and it's. It's actually pretty balmy. It's pretty warm. Yeah, we've, it's, been, yeah. we've been broadsided by the good weather. We're only about two hours away from Manhattan, and it's um, it's it's very nice here too. So, you you lucked out on that one. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for some. I'm ready for the cold. I'm ready for the warmth. Whatever. I'm just happy to be in the state. <laughs> right on, man. Now, now for most of us, uh, Young Guns is a new band. So I know that you're probably tired of doing this, but if you could uh, just briefly explain a little bit about your band and how you guys all got together. All right, man. Well, basically, we uh, we all kind of uh, bumped into each other, I guess, through mutual friends and stuff like that about seven years ago. And we hung out for a while, kind of jamming, just writing music, just a few of us. Um, and it wasn't really like a serious thing. It was like a hobby. Then in 2008, um, uh, the guy who plays bass for us now, Simon, he joined the band. And when he joined, somehow the chemistry just clicked and, and we kind of accidentally wrote four songs that we then put out on an EP. And at home in the UK, we started to get some really good press and kind of things just kind of spiraled out from there. Before we knew it, we had been on tour for two years and we had a debut record out and it's kind of been nonstop ever since. But we basically just play uh, anthemic rock music, you know, big choruses and riffs. That's what we like to hear and that's what we play. I love it, man. And we just started playing uh, Bones maybe, I don't know, a little, little over a month ago here at WCCC in Hartford. And But you guys are like kicking some ass in Europe, right? I mean, the big shows, tons of fans, and, and now you're coming to the United States. It must kind of feel like you're starting all over again, does it? It does, but in like the best possible way, Craig. Like, it, you know, it, it's great to have like a, a strong following at home. And, you know, we just come off the back of the biggest ever UK and European tour that we've ever done. You know, playing to a couple of thousand people a night, selling out shows, and and that's the dream. You know, sure. but more than that is is getting the opportunity. I think for any band in Europe or England or whatever to to come over to America and to tour and and to have our song played on the radio, it's it's a bit of a dream come true. So we're kind of walking around the states at the moment, pinching ourselves every day, and and to, to know that people like yourself are spinning our our, our kind of first American single on the radio is is pretty mind blowing, man. We're, we're super grateful and and. Uh, we're kind of just excited about this new challenge, you know. It's starting again, but in the best possible way, you know what I mean? Very, that's a good outlook. We're talking to uh, Gus from Young Guns on the Rock 106.9 WCCC. And even like last night, you had um, uh, guys from probably right down the street from you. Led Zeppelin were in Manhattan last night hanging out with David Letterman. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wish we could have, uh, I wish we could have uh, seen them. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't because we were, like, uh, we were up in a... Uh, in Baltimore, like I say, but right. you know, it's nice to be. I like to think that there's a tradition of, of, of kind of British rock bands coming into America, and we're happy to kind of, in some small way, be a part of that that kind of trend. You know, for sure. Uh, now, your band name is Young Guns, but you guys can't even you can't even really carry guns in the UK. Is that correct? No, that's right. There's no guns in the UK, none whatsoever. Not even cops. Like cops can't even carry them. No, man. No, not until we got. They have night sticks on occasion. I guess they got tasers. I mean, not that I'd want to cross any one of those anyway but no no guns in the UK it's, it's not something we do you never got hit with the taser Gus no I'm a good boy <laughs> we'll see what happens in a couple of years yeah, right. you know? <laughs> all right so uh, what's on the young guns to-do list for 2013 and will you get a break for the holidays and and have some Christmas plans too uh, well we finish up uh, this American run on the 21st of December uh, my brother lives in uh, Seattle so I'm actually gonna stay in America for Christmas which I'm stoked about because I've since I was a kid watching Home Alone and stuff, I've always wanted to come to America for Christmas. So that's nice. a big deal for me. Very cool. Uh, but the next year is all about really focusing on America as much as we can. We're going to try and get over and do a couple more tours. Uh, we've got to write and record a new record, our third album, which we're really excited to do. Um, 
So that's going to be cool. But really, our plan is just to keep as busy as we can. You know, I think as, as nice as the idea of having time off is, you spend five days at home and you're come, you're kind of like, I, I need to get out on the road. I'm bored. I don't know what to do. Being in a band, you forget to behave like a normal uh, operating member of society, and that's bad in some ways, but good in an awful lot of others. So I'm, I'm content just to remain busy and touring. Awesome. And we're spinning the new single "Bones" here at WCCC. Tell us a little bit about the song. What's this? What's the song about? Uh, well, it's basically just about the idea, like, uh, you know, we, we came to a point when we were writing our second record and we felt like we really had a chance to kind of step it up and do something big and really define ourselves as a band. Yeah. And, and we were writing this song and we felt just we kind of had this feeling like this song was a song musically that was, was better than anything else we'd done up until that point. Um, and it just felt real good and we really felt like we had a chance to make a statement with that song. And so I was playing around with this kind of metaphor, this idea of like, Everything that we have, uh, everything that we need to, to kind of make a difference is really inside us, you know. And, and I think really it's just bones is, is an idea, it's a metaphor for inner strength and kind of getting stuff done and making a change that you want to, that you want to make, you know. And so I came up with this melody of I feel it in my bones and it just felt like I really had this idea that that would connect with people, you know. Like so we jammed out the music like one day and, and those words kind of fell out. Yeah. It just went from there really and here we are like, 10 months later, you know, I'm on the phone uh, doing American radio interviews and, and having a great time. So That's this is sweet, it. it's about self-empowerment, you know? The, the song definitely made an impact to a lot of us around here. You know, myself and, and a lot of the other DJs, they were like, that song is just hot, man. It's just, it's definitely got a buzz about it. There's a lot of people calling up and requesting it. And, uh, you know, a lot of songs that you hear on the radio, sometimes you hear them and they go away. But this is something I think is going to be sticking around for a while. I hope so, man. I'm stoked to hear you say that. Thank you very much. You know, it's, we're, we're, it's early days for us as a band, but America's been real kind to us and we're just kind of happy to, to get over here and grind it out, you know? Are you sure this isn't Russell Brand? You sound a little bit like Russell. <laughs> well, do you know what? I'll take that compliment all day long, <laughs> as long as you mean it as a compliment. Of course. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Maybe we'll get, like, next time you come into town, we'll get some station IDs and we'll have you say that you're actually Russell Brand. And Yeah, we can do that. All right, all right. Uh, Thursday night, the show is at Upper on the Rocks. It's in downtown Hartford. Do you know what time you guys go on for that for that set? I would love to say yes, but I don't. No. I, one of the uh, one of the best parts about being in a band is that I get to remain blissfully unaware. I just get to be told where to go and when to be there. And it's nice. so <laughs> That's I'll awesome. Be, we'll dude. be on stage at some point. Yeah, we'll just you know we'll just say get there early and start drinking heavily. And yeah, get the, by the, time... get the drinks in, and the, we'll, we'll become exponentially better the more you drink. All right. the, the CD is called Bones. It's out in stores right now. Download it however you get your music. And uh, Thursday night, the show is at Upper on the Rocks. Gus, thank you for calling in, man. And, and we really wish you the best of luck. Hope to see you again at, at a WCCC show again soon. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me on the phone. And thank you for spinning the track at the moment. You got it, man. Thank you.